right leg and go back. Left leg goes up and another book. At the Baltimore School for the Arts, Junior Ayana Kane is working on a dance routine she choreographed herself. It incorporates moves from communities throughout the city. It's her own spin on Baltimore club music. It's a lot of fun to be able to connect my community back to my school and show everybody, you know, what Baltimore Club really is. And she did all of her research um, going into, you know, mining music from the 90s and the early 2000s and uh, researching the dance moves. And this is what you get from it. And it's really impressive. The routine is one of two dance pieces that will be part of a school wide production next week. March 3rd, 5th and 6th, the school will host its annual fundraiser Expressions. It's the first time since the pandemic began that students from different departments have been able to perform together and the public is invited. It pays for point shoes, it pays for instruments, it pays for professional artists to come and work with our students. So this is everything for us. Everything for the school and everything for students like Ayana, ready to share her hard work with the audience. It's just really exciting to be able to share this moment with my peers, the people that helped me create this, and to share it with everybody else at Expressions. If you don't feel comfortable coming in person, don't worry, a virtual party pack is available. Tickets are still on sale for Sunday, March the 6th, but that Thursday the 3rd is already sold out. Here in Baltimore, Jen Franciati, WBAL-TV 11 News.